Karnataka BJP chief B.S. Yadurappa has met the Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh on the issue of D.I.G. D. Rupa's shunting. She was D.I.G. prisons. She's just been transferred to traffic. This after she filed a report and sought an inquiry into allegations that top officials were paid close to 2 crore rupees for providing special facilities for AIA DMK's Sasikala in the Bengaluru prison. Now, the BJP has raised this issue seeking an inquiry into all trans transfers. DIG Rupa had asked some very uncomfortable questions, following which she's been shunted out. The additional Director General of Prisons, he has been transferred. What we're also being told now is that the Superintendent of Prisons has also been transferred pending this inquiry. Along with 10 prisoners, 10 prisoners have been shunted out to Bellari Prison. India Today's Nolan Pinto now joins me with the latest on the story. Nolan, the BJP intends to make this into an election issue uh, targeting the Siddharamaya government. Bring us details. You know, Gaurav, uh, the Chief Minister, when he came back to Bengaluru, was extremely miffed, extremely angry because of the mishandling of this entire issue. From our sources, what we heard was that he actually lambasted uh, Mr. Kempaya, who is the uh, advisor to the Home uh, Ministry, as well as other senior officers in charge of intelligence. And precisely because of this, the BJP will utilize this as an election issue. This is a, they have actually got something in their hand now to hammer the government at. And now, with the transfer of the officials, uh, earlier in the morning, what was uh, Suresh Kumar, a senior BJP leader and MLA, he, he told me that having a one-man inquiry will not satisfy anything it will not suffice anything. We want a judicial probe into this particular issue. The retired IS officer looking into what the IPS officers from their same fraternity will not work. And now okay. B.S. Yadurapa has also spoken about that. Uh, he says that this shows that honest officers who come out as whistleblowers, bring out irregularities, illegalities, are being shunted out because the government has no confidence in them. Okay. And then they keep transferring them. So this is what is, is the issue. PM understood this. And the BJP will utilize but this. But this is as, no longer uh, an administrative uh, issue. Nolan, this has now become political with BS Yadurappa raising it with the Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh. So now, what could have been seen as an administrative step becomes completely, completely political. Absolutely, because the BJP has all along been saying that one, Rashikana has been enjoying the facility. I remember uh, we broke it here on India Today itself. The time she was actually incarcerated over there the very next day and a few days later, how she was giving, given uh, preferential treatment, how uh, she was allowed, unlike other convicts over there who were serving life imprisonment, to meet her relatives, her, her friends, her party people, on and off at different particular uh, different points of time okay. when others uh, were not allowed to. So from then, this has been going on. Now, what many say here is that without the political bosses over here, the IPS officers, will not allow this to happen. Even though D. Rupa actually stated that two, almost two crores uh, uh, worth of bribes she heard was paid in order to allow uh, VVIP or to give VVIP treatment to Shashikala, it is with the, you will have the backing of political bosses here. Somebody would have said, yes, go ahead, give us this uh, preferential treatment. That is what has come out now, and this is what... Good the point you is. raised there, Nolan. Stay with me. There's more breaking news coming in. Now, BJP's senior leader from Karnataka, Prahla Joshi, has now said that the BJP is demanding a judicial inquiry into the transfer of DIG D. Rupa and will raise the issue in Parliament tomorrow. Upping the ante against the Congress in Karnataka, he said that Congress leaders are allegedly involved in this scandal and that is why an upright officer like D. Rupa has been transferred. Let's listen in to Prahlad Joshi. To speak to us on the issue of transfer of DIG D. Rupa, we have with us Mr. Prahlad Joshi to speak to us, sir. How do you see this transfer? No, this is the most uh, unfortunate and uh, government wants to cover up the issues. Government of, uh, wants to corrupt, I mean, cover up the corrupt people. They want to protect the corrupt people. This is what is a proven fact. And recently, some of the NGOs reputed NGOs, they have conducted a survey in which it was mentioned that Karnataka is number number one in corruption. 
this is the ranking they got and how these people are behaving with the officers who resist the voice against the irregularities and the corruption of the state government or its officers number one example is rashmi one ias officer who was beaten up in public for raising the voice against the corruption in that institute where she was posted that is training institute some training institute of the karnataka government then the uh, srimati shikha she was the dc of the mysore she this one of the person who all, who is always with mr sidramaya that fellow he um, threatens the dc and in a very filthy language she talks in front of her and she gives a police complaint action was not taken against against him but she was transferred tulsi muddineni one one of the ministers then he was constructing illegally a house she objected for that she was transferred anupama shenai she directly made a allegation against the sidramaya and she has filed a, pol- in a uh, corruption case against mr sidramaya now it is rupa what ultimately rupa did this she raised the voice whether it is right or wrong i am not i am not passing the judgment but uh, as soon as she wrote a report you should have immediately confiscated you should have sent some honest officer recorded everything video recording and everything instead of that you allowed all the witnesses all the consequential uh, m- proofs all those things you you thought it that it is demolished it is cover up then you transfer this uh, lady officer this means some of the person who is at the top level at this dramaya who is who is very close to sidramaya those people are in this indirectly sidramaya is there in this this is a huge corruption cases in in many jails it is happening now i think in every walk of the karnataka government there is this uh, very rampant corruption is there that's why to cover up this lady officer is transferred i strongly condemn this and somebody at the top level it is involved sir uh, the cm has given statement that under conduct rules action can be taken against her what is your view no more than conduct rules now the corruption is the issue if conduct rule is there let there be enquiry and there are many officers in karnataka they have gone to the media whether it is right or wrong let it be decided by enquiry and i know there are conduct rules but the basic issue is corruption here first you should have inquired into it that and then you should have you could have tried to collect the information and uh, then act upon that instead of you have transferred her that is a uh, highly unacceptable and condemnable i strongly condemn the action of sidramaya i demand judicial enquiry into this then only truth can come out cm has uh, given a statement that uh, they taken a very serious cognizance of the matter an inquiry report has also been ordered so how hopeful are you some retired officer has been uh, uh, appointed as the inquiry officer i don't think he will be able to do that there should be some judicial inquiry with some authority to him with terms of reference to him what was what were all happenings in the jail that uh, agra um, the temsagar jail and uh, also it is not a i i don't think it is a routine transfer if at all she has violated the conduct rules then it is a different enquiry there is a system but for raising the voice immediately transferring before recording her statement and everything it is highly unacceptable i don't i strongly condemn this thank you for speaking with india today mr pralad joshi is clearly demanding a judicial inquiry into this matter with camera person ashok banot atir khan in delhi for india today 